So I have a medley of some footage of the um, shipment map. It was not a launch map, but it was released as part of the season one package along with uh, Vacant and Crash. So Shipment made its debut in the first uh, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4. It reappeared in Modern Warfare Remastered, obviously, and also later Call of Duty World War 2. It's a popular map just because it's so small, like Shoot House. You know, it's fast paced, a lot of non stop action. But I don't know if you played this version of Shipment, but there's been some some changes to the layout, specifically the uh, open cargo conta shipping containers at the north and south end of the map. Instead of being angled, um, instead of being angled <laughs> along the uh, the boundary, they're now f like parallel to the boundary. So. Along the south and north ends of the map, you can you can see and therefore shoot from one end to the other. So from east to west along <clears throat> those boundaries. On top of that, you have to talk about the uh, ridiculous spawns. Ridiculous and random spawns. They're not so random because, well they are random, but at the same time you can expect to be like find yourself getting killed pretty cheaply but you can also get a lot of cheap kills too so in terms of look it does it does look pretty different because whereas in in modern warfare the first modern warfare and modern warfare remastered the shipment arena is kind of set in a fairly like a uh, somewhat remote location but here you can see the shipping containers shipping cranes in the background you can see other shipping containers beyond the boundaries so it really makes this particular arena feel like a small part of a larger area even if you can't access that area so first i thought it was maybe like part of a larger ground map but from what i understand it's as of right now, just a standalone map. And one, another cosmetic, pretty noticeable cosmetic change is just those stacks of containers in the middle. And on top of that, you can you can climb on top of the uh, the single shipping containers for the most part. But I don't really see a lot of people taking advantage of that because just because the map is so small, because the spawn locations are just so wild. It's not really a viable strategy because people will figure out figure you out real quick. And so in this map, I, this this game, I'm using my well, I'm still using my Metal Gear Solid inspired class, but this time I'm using an, M an MP5. Whereas in the previous game, I was using the FAMAS. So at the time of this footage, um, the update that gave players five additional slots for custom classes was not available yet so i was just kind of alternating between the mp5 and the famas for my metal gear solid class which is my go-to class for uh, shooting down kill streaks it's my stealth class so i've got uh what is it cold-blooded ghost and then my third perk is amped that helps me switch to and reload my my launcher, which of course it has to be the uh, the pillow, which is really the uh, stinger, because that weapon makes is pretty prominent in that game. You've got to use it to take down Metal Gear Solid Rex. No, Metal Gear Rex. Forgot. So I'm finding that like compared to previous Modern Warfare games, like the FAMAS and the MP5 especially are pretty viable weapons. Like that kill right there, that would, that would never happen in Modern Warfare Remastered. Just because the MP5 is so weak. 
from what I remember, the FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2 is not so great either. So I mean, I don't know if it's the we if the weapons if it's the weapons that are better or is it just my skill that has improved. I'd have to like go back and play Modern Warfare 2, use the FAMAS, use the MP5, and see if if they're as underpowered as I remember them to be. I definitely remember the FAMAS or like an earlier earlier prototype or model of the FAMAS being in the first Black Ops game. And it was in that game with the MP5 and the M4 in this game, you know, just something guns that are like really popular all around, maybe arguably overpowered. But in any case, I'm finding that like I'm having good good success with the MP5 and the FAMAS. In general, and particularly, particularly with this map. So whenever I, I'm playing as the Coalition faction, like I am here, I use the MP5. And if I'm playing as the Allegiance faction, I use the FAMAS. So I've been talking about MP, the MP5 and my Metal Gear Solid class, but I've just realized that not a, people, not a lot of people realize that um, the MP5, specifically the MP5 SD, is available in the first Metal Gear Solid. And that's because it's really only available in the PC version, which has the very easy difficulty. So when if you play that mode, you start off with the MP5 SD, and it's got infinite ammo, so you don't have to worry about, you know, you can just shoot your way through, uh, through the game without penalty. So there's another another win. Now this these games are not all part of the same session. They're like you know days, in some cases weeks apart. Uh, lost my train of thought. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so the MP5 is also available in the Japanese version of. Metal Gear Solid Integral or Integral. So normally I don't use any kind of optic for my FAMAS or my MP5, but because I was trying to unlock a, a certain reticle, the blue dot reticle, I, honestly I still haven't unlocked it. But I'm using right here the uh, Viper Reflex Sight. It was actually pretty good. Like I never would have tried it if it weren't for. Um, trying to get that reticle, the blue dot reticle specifically. So I'm doing work with this FAMAS. Granted, I'm my gun is mounted, but still one burst to the uh, the body or head, nipples up. It's pretty much a guaranteed kill. And so season two is almost upon us. It, it's uh, released tomorrow, February 11th, and uh, yeah, you can see like uh, this arena is part of a much larger area when I called in that cruise missile. So just going back to, uh, yeah, so season two launches tomorrow. You've got uh, Ghost returning to the Modern Warfare universe, this rebooted universe. You've got the... Uh, um, 45 or like a fictional representation of it returning. There's also um, a gun based on the SIG 552. Now, from what I know, it's never been in any Modern Warfare game, but I definitely remember it from like Battlefield. I think Bad Company. Um, and of course, Rust is making its return. It's going to... So Rust in Modern Warfare 2 was what shipment was in the first Modern Warfare. Just the the requisite small, fast-paced, non-stop, non-stop action multiplayer map. So Scrap is, uh, from what I can tell, it seems to be returning as well. But it, as of right now, it's only going to be part of a larger ground war map. So when this when shipping was first launched for Modern Warfare 2019, I would like I would back out whenever I could just because the, the spawns are so ridiculous and my KDR would take a huge hit. But over practice, 
I've gotten better at it, and I, I, I like it. I don't mind it. Thanks for watching.